5 Secrets to Success in Business Would it be an exaggeration to say that business is tough, especially in this highly competitive world? Well, I don't think so. Running a business can be pretty tough. You know, from trying to ensure that your product or service meets people's needs to ensuring quality production and marketing. You'll be surprised to find yourself wishing you had extra hours by the end of each day. However, in the midst of these, some entrepreneurs end up being successful. Why? It's pretty simple. They know the secrets of success and they act accordingly. Nolan Bushnell, an American businessman and electrical engineer said and I quote, the critical ingredient in getting off your butt and doing something is as simple as that. A lot of people have ideas but few decide to do something about them now, not tomorrow, not next week, but today. The true entrepreneur is a doer, not a dreamer. So in this video, I'll share with you your 5 secrets to success in business. This, I believe, will help you become a successful person. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. 1. Enjoy what you are doing Maya Angelou, an American poet, singer, memorist and civil rights activist said, You can only become truly accomplished at something you love. Don't make money your goal. Instead, pursue the things you love doing and then do them so well that people can't take their eyes off you. Money shouldn't be your priority. Instead, be passionate about what you do because when you love what you do, you'll be able to move past obstacles and discouraging times. You'll be able to look beyond challenges and focus on the results you want to achieve. You'll also be prepared to not only enjoy the outcome of your hard work or success, but also focus on the processes involved. Also, it is when you are passionate about what you do that you'll gain a sense of fulfillment when you achieve your purpose and vision as far as your business is concerned. Nicholas Zenstrom, founder of Skype and Casa, once said, and I quote, If you want to be an entrepreneur, it's not a job, it's a lifestyle. It defines you. Forget about vacations, about going home at 6 p.m. Last thing at night, you'll send emails. First thing in the morning, you'll read emails and you'll wake up in the middle of the night. But it's hugely rewarding as you're fulfilling something for yourself. 2. Create something of real value. According to Jim Ron, you don't get paid for the hour, you get paid for the value you bring to the hour. Knowing this should give you an idea of how important it is to create value. Alternatively, we can say money is value. So, if you want to succeed in your business, you have to create a product which value will match the price which you intend to charge. Successful entrepreneurs are those that do not make and sell products or services that they think are good, but products or services that are beneficial to people. Think of vehicles, airplanes, ships and other transportation modes that you know. Why do you think they were made in the first place? To add to the number of fancy equipment Mother Earth has or to solve one of the problems of mankind either via air, road or water. Caroline Miss, an American author said and I quote, If you are committed to creating value and if you aren't afraid of hard times, obstacles become utterly unimportant. A nuisance perhaps, but with no real power. The world respects creation. People will get out of your way. Candace Carpenter always goes with the choice that scares you the most because that's the one that is going to require the most from you. 3. Be clear about your message Blake Mykowski, an American entrepreneur, author and philanthropist said and I quote, The easier it is for someone to understand who you are and what you stand for, the easier it will be for that person to spread the word to others. When someone asks you, what do you do? How do you explain it to them? How clear is your message to them? For instance, you sell cardigans for babies to keep warm. How do you explain that to someone who asks you what you do for a living? 1. I sell cardigans for cold babies. Or 2. I sell cardigans that keep babies three times warmer than any other brand, which means they don't get to feel cold, leading to better naps and a healthier childhood. What do you think? 
Which of these two options best explains what you do? I'm sure we'll both agree that the second option does more justice, yeah? Of course, yes. To pass your message across clearly, you need to, first of all, identify what you stand for, then craft your story in a way that it's easy to remember and retell. 4. Improve the lives of others Undoubtedly, the fastest way to achieve success is to first help others. Not only should you deliver value, but you should look for ways to improve other people's lives with whatever it is you do in your business. You see, except you are not considering long-term exponential growth, then you might as well just keep bothering about how to sell a loan. Otherwise, finding ways to improve people's lives should be the motive of your business. Albert Einstein said, Try not to become a man of success, but a man of value. Look around at how people want to get more out of life than they put in. A man of value will give more than he receives. Be creative, but make sure that what you create is not a curse for mankind. When you create value for people via the products you sell, the services you offer, or the information you give out, you will not only experience unimaginable sales, but tremendous growth as well. 5. Be visible. Think about it this way. Imagine producing something that will put an end to hunger forever. It means that you are creating something valuable and something that can improve lives, right? What if after making this product, you put it in a safe place in the corner of your house with the hopes that it will attract people? Good idea or not? Well, that's what happens when you create a product and do not put it in place. Effective marketing. Ed Howey, an English professional football manager and formal player, said, Doing business without advertising is like winking at a girl in the dark. You know what you are doing, but nobody else does. When it comes to marketing, apply the 80-20 rule, which suggests that 80% of your company's sales comes from 20% of your customer. Alternatively, you could say that 20% of what you do represents 80% of that particular activity's outcome. So, invest 80% of your time and finance into marketing your product. Bottom line, as a business owner, succeeding in your business means that you have to constantly develop yourself and equip yourself with business tools and knowledge. Idowu Koyenikan said, and I quote, the type of person you are is usually reflected in your business. To improve your business, first improve yourself. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'll like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see two other videos we handpicked for you to enjoy next. We love you.